In cities across the country, thieves are using the iPhone passcode to get into stolen phones and loot their victims' bank accounts and money apps, and lock them out of their Apple accounts. It's not an overstatement to say that the stolen device protection that Apple is implementing is by far and away the greatest security advancement for Apple ID and Apple devices. The video is timestamped so you can skip around as desired. The first thing we cover is the threat vector that makes you so vulnerable to hackers being able to destroy your digital life. We walk through a detailed attack scenario, show you how they delete all of the security on your account, and the final annihilation of everything that belongs to your digital life. At the very end, we show you a complete list of everything you need to do to prevent your life from being hacked and to protect your devices and your digital life. Today, we're going to explore Apple's stolen device protection. It's going to be available on 17.3 on the iOS. We're running the 17.3 beta version right now. We'll require your face ID to access safe passwords, an hour long security delay before it will change settings like your Apple ID password, and then it will require another face or touch ID confirmation. So you'll scroll down to face ID and passcode. Once you enter the passcode, you'll scroll down. It's as simple as turn on the protection. And what this does is for at least one hour, we'll lock down all of your security settings on your account and your devices. The threat vector, presuming that someone was able to get your passcode and open one of your devices, this will protect you from them being able to reset all your security settings. We'll show you exactly how that attack scenario would work. Let's say they have your device over here on the left. It's open. So this is the scariest thing about Apple devices and the reason they've implemented this stolen protection because now I can just come in here to the account ID and under sign in and security I can come down to change password I have to do is have that passcode again and once I've entered the passcode I enter a new password and verify that password and I own the account the next thing they'll do is go back to the settings here, go tap on the Apple ID, and down here where it says Find My for Find My Device, it will just come over here and it'll turn this off. So find my phone, and they'll be able to do that because they have the Apple ID password because they just reset it. So <laughs> the fact that the phone was open, they were able to reset the password, and now that they can turn off the Find My Phone. Now, the next thing you're going to do is into your settings where you have your security settings. So down here on sign in security, after they've turned off find my phone, they've reset your password. Down here where you see two-factor authentication is on. And here we have security keys, hardware security keys. The str strongest form of account security you could possibly have is security keys. And they'll just come in here and they'll say remove all keys and remove. Of course, they need the passcode again. Security keys are removed. Done. So to recap that, they've changed your password. They turned off your Find My Phone. They removed your second factor. And guess where they're headed now? They're headed to your online account. And what are they going to do with your online account? Well, they've got your Apple ID, right? Because they have your device. They're going to say continue with password because they just reset your password and it's gonna get worse. And they're gonna ask you for the two-factor authentication, but that two-factor authentication just went onto the iPhone. And of course, you click allow. And then what pops up is the security code necessary to log into the account. How crazy is this, right? Just because the passcode got compromised and the device was stolen, they've completely compromised everything that you own digitally. And it's gonna get worse because what they're going to do over here is go down to devices and under devices, they're gonna remove all of your other devices, remove from account. And at that point, you have no control over the account. They've changed your password, removed your strong second factor authentication. They've removed all your external devices. They completely own your digital life. So to recap that, under your settings, 
Under Face ID and Passcode, Apple is implementing something called Stolen Device Protection. It's going to be simple enough to turn on that you just come down here and say turn on protection. So that scenario that you saw at least for one hour will be prevented even if someone stole your device. So what you would want to do is log into your online account and take this device, the one over here, this, this iPhone, take it off. So the attacker no longer has access to your account. I don't think it's an overstatement to say that this stolen device protection is the most significant security enhancement that Apple has provided for accounts and devices. Up to this date, without this protection, one compromised passcode and a stolen device, everything in your digital life could be obliterated. Now you have this wall of protection to prevent this from happening. In the video, we did not demonstrate location bypass. This is where you can designate safe places, even if stolen device protection is on to not stop you from making changes to your security settings. I think this is a bad idea. Why would you want to allow that protection to be bypassed? Even if this feature gets implemented, I would not recommend that you bypass it. Your device can get stolen at work, at home, just as easily as it can anywhere else. Use Google Voice as your trusted number. Not only does it protect you from SIM swapping, but if your cell phone was ever stolen, the hacker would not have access to your trusted number. You would still have access to that number. Consider adding additional security protection to your account, such as advanced data protection. This encrypts all of your cloud data so that even if the servers on Apple's cloud system were hacked, they would still not have access to your data. One of the ways to do this is to implement a 28-digit recovery key. Also consider implementing hardware security keys for your credentials, the safest method available today. And keep in mind, the recovery key allows you, even if you've lost all of your devices, you've lost your password, and you've lost your second factor, as long as you have the recovery key, your trusted number, hopefully you used a Google Voice number, and your Apple ID, those three things, recovery key, trusted number, and your Apple ID, you would be able to recover your complete digital life. That's why that recovery key is so important. And if you are going to use that Apple recovery key, please, by all means, print it out. We get contacted almost once a week with somebody who's lost a recovery key and they cannot get back into their account. Print that thing out. Put it in a safe location where you can always get access to it. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and learning how Apple's stolen device protection shields your digital life. Remember, security is everyone's personal responsibility. Here's what you can do to stay safe. Like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tricks to protect your digital life. Share your Apple ID security experiences and questions in the comments below. We're always happy to help.